Okay, so we're looking at this question. We have two, what does brackets mean? Multiply. Multiplied by x take away 4. Can I solve what's in the bracket? Can I simplify no. x take away 4? No. Why not? No. They're not like terms. Good. Okay. So what do we need to do when we have a bracket? What's the very first step here? We need to multiply 2 times x, and I need to multiply 2 times positive or negative 4. So you write down the first part. What is that equal? What's 2 times x? And 2 times negative 4? Okay, so right now we have on the left side of the equation 2x minus 8. Can I take 8 away from 2x? No. I need to get rid of the negative 8. What's the opposite of take away 8? Plus. Add 8. So what do I need to do to the right side? Good. So I have 2x equals 4 plus 8. Good. 2x equals 12. The final step, whenever we have a number and a variable, that's multiplication. Opposite of 2 multiplied by something. Divided by 2. What do I do to the right side? X equals? Good. When we have a fraction, we read this as w plus 3 divided by 4. Right? What's the opposite of dividing something by 4? Gabrielle just said it. If I multiply this whole thing by 4, I'm undoing the operation of divided by 4. Whatever we do to one side, we have to do to the other side. So what do I do to the right side? <laughs> multiply by 4. I have w plus 3. I can't add 3 and w, right? And then on the right side, what do I have? 8. eight. Now this is so simple. What do I do to solve to isolate w? Yes? Uh, it's, uh, sin yeah, since adding it is older, then you have to do the opposite. Good. So I'm doing 8 take away 3. What's 8 take away 3? We want to get rid of the plus 1 because we're trying to get C by itself. So I'm going to start by getting rid of plus 1. How do I get rid of plus 1? Take away 1. So what do I need to do to the left side? Negative 2 minus 1 equals negative 2 over 5C. Can I simplify the left side? What's negative 2 take away 1? Negative 3. Thank you. And now I have negative 2 divided by 5c. What, what operation do I want to undo now? Which one do I want to get rid of? What's the opposite of dividing by 5? So the other side of the equation has to be multiplied by 5. What's positive 5 times negative 3? So negative 15 equals what? Negative uh, C. I still have that. Negative 2C. We want to divide by the coefficient of the variable. Whatever's in front of the variable, that's what we divide by. Because I'm trying to just get C by itself. So we can leave this as a fraction. You can turn it into a decimal. It does not matter, but it's, the answer is going to be negative or positive. Positive. And I'll turn this into a decimal. Anyone know 15 divided by 2? Good. So the answer is 7.5, or we can leave it as 15 over 2, or we can write it as 7 and a half. So the first thing we want to do is remove the brackets, and we expand. So we multiply, distribute, distributive property. Distribute the number in front of the bracket times whatever is inside the bracket. So 4 times x, 4 times negative 2. Okay, and do I have to do the same thing on the right side? We still have brackets, so we need to expand and remove the brackets. Negative 3 times positive 2x. Good. Negative 3 times positive 6. Okay, so that's step 1. So first we need to identify, well, which terms are the like terms? I have a 4x. What goes with 4x? Okay, so that, those are like terms. And then I have negative 8 and 
negative 18. Those are the constant terms. So we're going to leave 4x on the left side. Okay, so that stays as 4x. I did not move that around. I didn't get rid of it. It's there. It's 4x. But if I want to get rid of negative 6x, I want to get rid of it from the right side. I don't want it on the right side. I want it on the left side. What does it become? Positive, Positive 6x. So I've grouped my variable terms together. Are, we, are you with me? What do I have on the right side? Okay, I'm going to keep negative 18 there. I'm not doing anything with that. But in order to bring negative 8, to, to combine it with negative 18, how do I get rid of negative 8 from the left side? Plus 8. See this, Tristan? If I add 8, I'm getting rid of it from the left side. What do I have to do to the right side? Plus 8. Plus 8. We, com we combine them, now we need to simplify. So we're either going to add or subtract, whatever the operation is. I'm putting them together now, I'm simplifying them. So what's 4x plus, 10, plus 6x? 10x. Okay. 10x. And what's negative 18 plus 8? Good. Okay, so we've simplified now. Now this is the last step, the easy part. What do I do at the very end? Pardon? Isolate. You said it earlier, Vishwa. Isolate the variable. We're trying to get the variable by itself. So in this case, yes, you're right. It's going to be divide, but it's not always divide. It's whatever the op opposite operation is, right? So I divide by 10, and I'm left with x equals negative 1.